Reno resident Pam McLean has her fingers crossed that she'll soon be moving into this Northwest Reno home. Pam is a first time home buyer who is taking advantage of programs funded by the federal government to sell foreclosed homes. She can hardly curb her excitement. Again, it needs some work and, and the supports underneath. Oh, I'm going to have to read it. Isn't it beautiful? I love the way the tree comes up through the patio. <laughs> so it needs to be finished. And, and, and like I said, underneath the supports aren't quite right. So I need to do that. You know, there's a little retaining wall to fix. Just little things. But luckily, all my years of experience in construction are finally going to pay off to my benefit instead of my landlord's. So you said the first thing you're going to do is paint it? I need to make some friends with the neighbors, so my first thing is to get in here and paint it. Pam and her realtor, Tiffany Dean, have been house hunting for two months. A lot of homes Pam like sold within 24 hours of going on the market or went for higher than the listed sales price. Pam decided to concentrate on a better deal and more square footage. My advice is be patient and just be out there and, and, and hit the streets and look at everything, look at everything and then wait. <laughs> it's a long process. And the majority of the houses damage is carpet, but there's been a few people where they've, they've punched holes in doors or purposely, they took the appliances so they could sell them. They've taken the stoves out. They've taken things that, light fixtures and things that would not normally be removed. But um, it's an easy fix and you can really save a lot of money. I call it the shock factor when a buyer walks in a house and they see certain things completely stripped from the home and it usually deters a buyer and I always tell them, hey, this is where you're going to get the deal. City of Reno Community Reinvestment Manager Jody Royal Goodwin explained the two programs to us that she administers. The Neighborhood Stabilization Program allows a first-time home buyer to buy a foreclosed home with a no interest down payment loan of up to $20,000 if the home buyer can provide 3.5% of the purchase price. The buyer can earn up to 120% of the area's medium income or $85,000 for a family of four. The home must be in one of three designated areas in Sun Valley, Stead, or Sparks. The price must be no more than 99% of appraised value. The home down payment assistance also provides a no interest loan of up to $20,000 if the home buyer can provide 3.5% of the purchase price. A first time home buyer can earn up to 80% of area medium income or $56,000 for a family of four. The buyer can purchase any home for sale in Washoe County. If people are considering buying a home, and they um, potentially qualify for an assistance program that they do apply simply because it provides a little cushion for them. Um, we might not know exactly what the market is going to do, but if you can get up to $20,000 in assistance to buy a home that you can afford, that just helps you out just a little bit more and it provides a little bit of cushion if the market does soften a little bit and that people look at a home are buying a house as a home for the long term. So there are like requirements for us. So if you buy under the neighborhood stabilization program, it's a forgivable loan. If you live there for five years, you no longer owe us anything. You've just gotten $20,000 towards your, um, or up to $20,000 towards your purchase of a home for nothing. Um, and the other one, as long as you live there, at which would need to be at least five years, you still get $20,000 and you don't have to pay us back until you sell it. So if you don't think about it in terms of an investment, which is kind of what got us into this problem, um, and more of a home, a place that you live and raise a family, then I would suggest you do it. Pam and other first-time home buyers also got another incentive to purchase a house. President Obama just extended the first-time home buyer $8,000 tax credit until June of next year. Um, if I make it in time for the tax credit, I'm going to just turn around and put all that money back in the house. For more information on the programs, you can contact Jody at 334-2305. So far, she has accepted about 30 applications.